You're watching Nature Moments with Gabe. Now, the woodpeckers we usually see, or you'll see most often that are most abundant here in southern Ontario, are two black and white woodpeckers where the females have black on the back of the head, the males have red. These are the, the downy and the hairy woodpeckers. They're almost identical in their general appearance, but the downy woodpecker, its beak is clearly less long than like the depth of the head. The hairy, it's like as long or longer. That's the main way you tell them apart. And like by size, it takes a while to kind of get used to them to know which is bigger. After a while, you can kind of learn that like to, to see by sight that um, you know, the hairy is, is quite a bit bigger than the downy woodpecker. There are two more ways that you can tell a downy apart from a hairy woodpecker. If you look at the tail feathers, downy woodpeckers can sometimes have little black spots on the white edge of their tail feathers. Hairy woodpeckers don't have this. And in the males, the downy woodpecker's red patch on the back of the head looks like one single streak, whereas the hairy woodpecker often it will appear as two separate spots. But they're, they're both beautiful little woodpeckers. Um, that you can see and they have these very distinctive peep kind of noises that they'll, they'll make when they fly or, or when they're um, when they're just going about their business. Okay, there's a hairy woodpecker and a downy woodpecker on the same tree here. At the base you can see the hairy woodpecker and up higher you can see the downy. So if I zoom in on that downy you can see he's not huge. White spot on the back, <laughs> very black and white, down at the base, see the hairy, see how much bigger the hairy is? Much bigger. All of this leads me to ask the question, why on earth are these two species of woodpecker so similar to each other? What's going on? Well, there's been all sorts of different ideas uh, proposed as to why it would be uh, helpful for these woodpeckers to look the same. It's not that they're particularly closely related, and it's not that it seems to fool predators, or that it actually helps the smaller downy woodpeckers to avoid being bullied by the bigger hairy woodpeckers either. Well, very interesting research done by a scientist named Gavin Layton and his team over at the Cornell University Lab of Ornithology has discovered that it might be because for downy woodpeckers, looking like the hairy woodpecker, which is more than twice their weight on average, can help them to get more food, especially when food resources would be accessed by a bunch of different species. What happens is when all bunch of birds gather together to feed, the downy woodpecker's pattern, similar to the much larger hairy woodpecker, can visually trick other birds into thinking that a larger, more powerful bird is coming to try to take the food away. And so rather than staining their ground, they move aside. And this provides a feeding benefit for the downy. It has more time to access the food. Even if the bird later figures out, oh, hey, this is a small bird, I can maybe push it away. You can learn more about this research by looking at the links I've added in the description or going to feederwatch.org. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to find joy and wonder wherever you are today, and we'll see you next time.